Park, I am Mark Hook, and listen, we gotta talk about something, all right? We gotta talk about something important. And look, Sunday, you probably have plans with football and all this stuff, but Sunday has gotta be a day that we get something back. We gotta go back to quality time. We gotta go back to the dinner table. And I'll tell you, I got a guy on the Skype line right now. He's an expert on this. He's a successful restaurateur. And he knows how important it is to serve a great meal. But through his travels, he's learned that family is more important than anything else. His name is Vic Rollo. Good morning, Vic, and welcome to Morning Coffee. Good morning. Nice to be here. How you guys doing out there? We're doing great. And listen, I just think your mission is so important and so awesome. And, and if more families could get around the table and share a meal, I think that things are really really going to improve here in America, but let's talk about how families like in other countries, like Italy, how do they differ their family meal dynamic than we do? Well, you know, in Italy it's all about the family, so it's not an option, it's mandatory to sit at the table, kind of lost in America, I want to bring it back, I got a couple easy recipes that I want to show everybody, that they can bring the family back, get them involved, back to the family meal, back to that Sunday around the table. First, I did a little arugula salad. Anybody in the world can make this, anybody that's watching or listening. Arugula, red onion, olive oil, you can put a little lemon if you want. And what I like to do to, to jazz it up, you know, and the kids can do it too, bring them around the table, let them help you cook, is shave a little arugula provolone right on top. And look at this big tip right here. I'm using a potato peeler, right? Everybody wants these fancy gadgets. You don't need that at all. And I put it on top. And super easy, super easy starter, uh, really nice to start a meal. And again, super easy. And what people forget about, you know, is that, that traditional family meal, and they, they let it go, and it happens in the back of an RV, and people are on the run. In Italy, we sit around the table, and we sit, and we talk, we live, we love, we laugh. If I could bring one thing back to America, bring back that family dinner, the best day to do it is on Sundays. And you said if the football game's on, I'm fine with the football game on. Just put it on mute, get going, sit down, and, and have your family dinner. Well, next, I did a, well, next I, I did a little pesto. Okay. Next, what do we got? Well, no, I was just going to say, like, it's better to be around the table with the TV on, muted, than to not be at the table at all. That's something that people miss. They're like, oh, I shouldn't watch TV while I'm eating dinner with my family, but look, if that's going to get everybody to the table, that's not a bad thing, right, Vic? Right. The best is TV off. But you know what? In today's day and age, if the TV has to be on and it's mute, it's better to be around the table than not to be around the table. Look, and I can distract you, too. Pesto is a distraction. <laughs> you say pesto, people think I'm nuts, right? <laughs> pesto is a distraction. Why? Because in the blender, we put garlic, pignoli nuts, olive oil, we put basil. Then locatelli. Fresh grated, right? A yep. couple scoops, four ounces. Now, your kid can make that, right? He could be helping you out. You Absolutely. mix it up, a couple pulses. You keep pulsing it, and it comes out like this, right? So now you have a delicious pesto. What do you do with pesto? You can put it on a cold pasta. You can put it on a hot pasta, right? Oh. You finish it up real nice. I like a little pesto just like on a little crostini, like on a little piece of bread or something. Why not? Use it as a spread. Put it on a turkey sandwich. Save the extra. It doesn't matter as long as we're together. That's all that's important. You know, so, and then I go, so we have the locatelli grated, and then I go right with the locatelli on top. Man, I, I, I love my tip here, this little grater. Uh, and, you know, it just adds a little flair. And... Why not make it look good if it's going to taste good? You know, and as I travel around Italy, I, I'm very impressed that there's still so many family-run businesses. Locatelli or Riccio, they're 200 years old. Family from generation to generation. You can be assured that you're getting great products. If you put junky stuff into a recipe, you get junk out. If you're around the table, make it wholesome, make it good. Make the recipe great, and that's what it's all about when you cook. Keith, I got, you know, people love chicken parm. In Italy, it's not so big chicken parm. It's right. an American thing. But if you're going to do chicken parm, do it right because it's wholesome and it's good. You know, you can fry the cutlets ahead. You make your favorite tomato sauce. You spoon a little sauce right on before it goes into the oven.
It's so awesome, Vic. But you look, and listen, I'm talking to Vic Rollo, who's a who's a success, very successful entrepreneur and chef, and, and he's trying to bring the Sunday dinner back to the table uh, for your family. So, Vic, look, I know you're on a time constraint. Just make sure you give me a heads up before you're about ready to cut out of here, okay? Yeah, I got it. So I'm shaving a little of the Arricchio on top, right? Forget the mozzarella. It's still a little nuts, right? Oh, yeah. It's Sunday dinner, we got people home, right? We shave a little bit of this on top. Why not dig into the freshly grated locatelli before it goes in the oven, right? Beautiful. Boom, hit it in the oven. Now you're ready to go. 25 minutes, that bakes up. It's perfect. What did I do, Keith? I brought people together with a simple meal. We sit around the table for an hour, an hour and a half. We have a little salad. We have a little pasta. We have a little chicken parm. But you know what's more important? We talk and we're together. It's all about being together. If I could tell you one thing, bring your family and friends together. Bring them around the table. Cook some great food. Use prime ingredients. Give everybody a hug and kiss. Laugh and cry. Bring back the tradition of the family dinner. It's not in the back of an SUV. It's right here, and that's what I'm about. Vic Rowell, the host of Eat, Drink, Italy. I'm so happy to be with you, Keith. Oh, uh, it's it's awesome, Vic. Thank you so, so much. Is there somewhere I should go to get more information or check out your website or something? Sure, you can go to ambriola.com, and my website is eatdrinkitaly.org. And uh, come and check it out, and uh, our new season's coming up in... Uh, right after the first of the year. That's awesome. I got one more question for you before you get out of here. How do I get the kids to stop using the phone at the table? Dude, mandatory. Check the phone. Check your shoes. Check your phone. No phones <laughs> at the table. One hour and a half. They can do without the phone. I don't allow them at the table. No phone Sunday dinner. All right. We're getting tougher. He's Vic Rollo. He's the man. He's a restaurateur. He's a great chef. And I want to thank him for spending a few minutes with me this morning on Morning Coffee. Thanks, Vic. Thank you, brother. You're welcome. And uh, i got to take a quick break. Look, guys, that's important stuff. You need to, to, to get the family back at the table and start with Sunday and, and make it a daily thing every day. So uh, it, it's awesome stuff. Check out Vic Rollo on Eat Drink Italy as well. So taking another break here on Morning Coffee. But we'll be right back on the Radio Vision Network. Stay right there. Sub some sizzle. This is the way. The way it's always been. The way it always should be. The way it always will be. Because that's just the way it's supposed to be. Jersey Mike's. Be a sub above. Simply Gents, located in Marlton, New Jersey, takes care of all your grooming needs, including haircuts, straight razor shaves, massages, facial, manicures, pedicures, and waxing. To find more information or book an appointment, visit us online at www.simplygents.com. 